started. <laughs> Not big. Uh uh. Fuck has been staring at you. Oh, honey, please. Spare me that. I'm not joking. He's just staring. I never said you were. But you know my takes on that. I don't really see anybody. Mm. And I guess it's because of your mysterious guy that you met from childhood. Mysterious boy? What makes him mysterious? My soul is tied to this boy. Who is now a man, of course. But I don't expect you to answer. Really? Yeah. This is a guy that we don't know if he's still alive. I mean, you don't even know his real name. Zeta doesn't know yours. No, 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 no. I remember telling you his name is Papilo. <laughs> There's nothing funny about that. Really? Yes, really. His name I is mean, Papilo. I mean, how can that even be his name? That can be his name. I mean, that's some nickname or something. But nevertheless, girl, 20 years. 20 years is a long time enough for you to get that guy out of your head. Can't do that. I can't just give up on him. I feel this, this strong aura that dwells within us. I feel this very strong conviction okay, okay. that I will see him okay. again and very soon. It's okay. You can keep fantasizing about this, your mysterious boy. I wish you luck. <laughs> I know I will. Bet on it. I know I will. Hello, Brady. Ch Chip, show. Don't do that. <clears throat> Honey, what I tomorrow about you? I'm a kid today. That pink. Ha. You know what I'm looking forward to? What's that? I'm looking forward to your switch. My when, switch? When Stella now takes your... Because your energy right now is so... is a hundred. Babe. It's a hundred. So I'm looking forward to it. Your problem oh, is you yeah. don't listen. And then I have to tell you every time. Over and what over, is all the just... fuss about? Adeline, of course. Adeline, what did she do this time? Her usual way of turning down well. I mean, she doesn't even give them a chance to express intentions. She just pushes them up before they have anything to say. Ah, uh ah, -uh. Adeline, what is wrong with you? Haven't we talked about this before? We've even talked about it so many times. Eh? Listen, if you keep refusing men's advances just because of an illusion, one, one, one confused teenager put in your head over 20 years ago, <laughs> uh, you are in for a shock, so you better think twice. Think twice. Think twice. One, two, three. Twice. Think twice. Mommy, hope you had a good day. I did, bro. I hope you had too. Despite Adeline and her issues, there's food in the kitchen. <sighs> I just let it be because sometimes. Which is how it should be though. Yeah, I just let it go on. How it can be exactly that way. Like, don't even pressure yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't even think too much about it. Just, just let it flow, really. Don't even think too much. Basically, right? Times, I mean, I just. Oh, wow. What? You're such a handsome man. Who? Him. The son of a popular politician, Billionaire Chief Jenkins. That's him. That's the boy from my childhood. Are you serious about this? Yes, I'm serious. He is the guy. That's him. I, I need to be sure. I'm sure he'll recognize me. And what if he doesn't? Then I remind him of the name he told me years back. Papilo. Yes. Now I need to go. He's him. Hey, I don't mean chill. Come girl, chill. Okay, you don't want to start embarrassing yourself publicly. Calm down. I'm going to help you out with this, okay? Just stay here. I'll be back. I'll talk to him. Oh, 
Okay, let's see how it. Uh, sorry, let me call you back. Okay. Can I help you? Happy Uh, how? How do you know that name? I mean, who told you about it? Who did? Excuse me? 20 years ago, off the Zero Street, I was the poor girl who gave you a pack of water and then you returned the favor with a pack of chills and it was my first time ever tasting. Wait, 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 you were that girl? Yes, I am. <laughs> no, thank goodness I finally found her. I've been looking for you everywhere. What was, what, what's going on? Papino, uh, is this really you? Wait, you you also told her about the name? Um, yes, she's just my half sister, so I, I told her everything. Salah, so, what are you, what are you talking about? Yeah. Don't you remember me, the girl that gave you water from years? Uh, what? What's going on here? I don't I don't understand. Are you trying to use the information I gave you against me? God, I thought we were sisters. Would you, you miserable? Would you? I trusted you. I trusted you. I'm not my sister. What did you? What did you? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What happened? What happened? Mommy, Stella is so, she's so heartless. Will you stop the name calling and tell me what happened? I saw him. You saw who? What boy I've talked about? The one boy I've cried for. A pillow. I saw him. You saw him, really? Then what happened now? What happened? Is he married? He didn't recognize you. Tell me now what happened. I'm listening. Is, she, is Stella the answer to the question? Tell me what happened. What happened? Woo! <laughs> this is awesome! <laughs> Dad, Mom, I have finally found her. <laughs> Oscar, what is it? Well, who exactly do you found? The girl I told you and dad about. The one that gave me water the day that I left home angry after you scolded me. Oh, mm -hmm. you mean the strange street girl? Exactly, mom. I have finally found her. <laughs> now I can boldly say that fate is fair to me. I mean, destiny was never against me in the first place. So who is this? girl that has swept you off your feet why didn't you bring her home to meet us that i assure you i'll bring her home to meet you officially so you can see what a beauty she has become hmm. so were you able to recognize her ah uh, well i wasn't but she did recognize me no <laughs> she, she she called me by the name that i told only to her i mean no one else knows knows me by that name She's the only person I've mentioned that name to. She walked up to me at the plaza and she called me that name. <laughs> I don't have much to say until I see this strange street girl mm. that you are obsessed with. Oh yes, I am obsessed with her. <laughs> Your mother has said it all. Bring her home. Let's get to meet her. Definitely that. I can't wait to bring her home. I can't wait because I feel real good. <laughs> My mama tell the luck. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> My son is in love. Oh yes, this is great news. This wow. is great, great news. That's good. Ooh. It's a great day. I feel good. Come on. I want to believe that what Adeline has been saying outside there is not true. Mom, I saw an opportunity and I took it. Do you know this guy is the only son of the famous Chief Jenkins? I don't understand. <laughs> this supposed guy uh, is the only son of Chief Jenkins. 
His parents took him abroad just after they met, and that's why they didn't see each other again. <laughs> you serious? Yes, mom. Hey. And how how did you end up being the one that he acknowledged now? I was smart enough to talk across her. I mean, he didn't recognize her, so I just took the opportunity and called him the name she told me, Papi Lo or whatever. And then, he whole family believed I was in lost love. Hey, just like that. <laughs> so easy. So easy. As a smart girl, that I am. Mm. And uh, by the way, mommy, that guy is too classy and expensive for Adeline. He can move better. Wow! Look at my daughter. Eh? Look at the words coming out of your mouth. I am so impressed. <laughs> My daughter, the girlfriend of the only son of T. Jenkins. And guess what, man? Yeah. Mommy's come and take me tomorrow, pick me up at the house, and take me to go see his parents. Now, are you serious? <laughs> hey! But wait, too. Where was Adeline when all of this conversation was going on? All the efforts for him to recognize her field. She just got angry. I went to sit down once then. Hey, my daughter. Just do whatever it is to make him yours. Hmm? I will support you wholeheartedly. And in fact, I will support you till the very end. Make him yours and yours alone. Don't worry about that girl. Don't worry about Adi. Hmm? Forget. I will deal with her. After all, she's just a, a privileged adopted child that nobody ever really wanted. In fact, I will start now to deal with her. Go on. Adeline, we want to talk to you about something. Something like the ploy you both are having to manipulate your way into my man's head. I heard everything. To be honest, I am very disappointed in you. How dare you talk to me like that? Mind your manner, so. It looks like you have been so you have made yourself so comfortable in this house that you have forgotten your kids. Eh? Just let me. And I will do it over and over again if you do not respect your tongue. Filter your words, young man. Filter your words, or else. You hear me? Mommy, this girl will be a lot of trouble with huh? She dare not. She dare not. <laughs> not in this house. Oh, I will so tame her, eh? But if she refuses to be tamed, then she can find herself another home. Exquisitely beautiful. Oh my god, I think that's him. Oh hi. Hey. Wow, you look beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good day, man. No, handsome. How are you? I'm fine, ma'am. Very fine. Welcome. Ma'am, please, uh, with your permission, I'd love to take your daughter out somewhere. Of course! Please, just go out and enjoy yourself. Thank take you. all the time you need. Thank you very much, Hi, Arthur. Oh, can we go already? <laughs> Let's go. All right, Mama, I'll see you. All right. Bye. All right, enjoy yourself. Bye. Bye. What are you doing there now? I'm broken like you. Go inside, John. I want to come and see people enjoying themselves. Wow. 
she's indeed what you said she is. What a beauty to behold. Thank you very much, ma'am. You're welcome, my dear. Ah, we have a lot to talk about. But before then, there's a table set for us. Oh, that's good. Okay, ma. Okay. Hi, how you doing? Hello. Okay, I, I don't feel very comfortable with the way your eyes are glued on me. I hope I'm safe. I can't believe you don't remember anything. It's me, it's Adeline, the girl you met years ago. <sighs> now you're getting me confused. I don't understand why you would take advantage of what your sister told you about us and try to manipulate me. Aren't you sisters again? My God, you are unbelievable. Do you remember the time I stepped on a broken bottle and you lifted me on your back and took me all the way to the pharmacy? Or when you asked me my name and I was about to tell you and your house help interrupted us and ever since that day, I have not laid my eyes on you until now. How come I can remember all of these things and the only thing in your head is Papilo, the name you told me? told that name to your sister. It was supposed to stay between us alone. But nevertheless, I would not hold it against her for revealing it to you. Where I do have a problem is you taking advantage of that information. That is very disheartening. You think I'm taking advantage of this situation? It's me. It's Adeline, the girl that gave you what a few years ago. Are you what is going on here? Uh, nothing, it's nothing. Are, are you ready? Can we leave? Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait outside, yeah? Adeline, Adeline, come. I am watching you, Adeline. And the earlier you realize that Pascal cannot be yours, the better for you. Read my lips. I will never give up on him for you. Neither will I ever give up on my first love. I will do whatever it takes to make him mine again. I don't care how it will come about. So help me God when the opportunity presents itself. I know something is wrong somewhere. Pascal cannot forget me like that.
What's happening here? Why am I in your room? Oh, no, no, no. Please, please, just tell me that nothing happened. Adeline, why? Come on, why? Why are you so desperate to have me that you didn't stop to consider your sister before you sneaked me into your room? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? I can't help it. I'm sorry, I can't just give up. You are my first love, Pascal. My first soul tie. It would be absurd to look at another man that way. We used to be... Just stop it! Spare me all that! Are you seriously raising this imaginary conversation after all this while? Are you? Take this drug. Take it for preventive measures. I don't want to take chances. That's water. Do you want me to help you? I'll be back. Honey, what are you doing in under this room? Uh, it's, it, it's not what you think. You left our room to come and sleep with her. No, no, no. no what what you? You? It's not what you think. I was drunk. I, 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 I... No, no, no. Stop it! I will deal with you! Please calm down, Sally! Oh shit! Just calm down! Mommy, I'm so sorry. Do you know what came over me? Shut up there! If I slap you here now, eh? You will find yourself in Timbuktu. Just, 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 just look at you. Pathetic liar like you. You see? You knew what you were doing. You knew. You planned it all along. Look. And as for you, oh, you. Permit me, eh? Let me just use my full chest to tell you that you are a compound fool. Nothing but a compound fool. And I will continue to remind you for the rest of your life. Mommy, how was I supposed to know I did you? Eh, ah. she bet me. This wicked girl bet me and assured me that she does not have interest in Pascal again. And you believed her? Well done, no. <laughs> eh? Don't you just look at As for you, you. Mm. I am one step, just one tiny step away from kicking you out of this house for good. I will, in fact, if you will make one more wrong move, eh, and I will throw you right back into the gutters that I picked you up from. Just try me. 
One more wrong move, one more wrong step, and you will see what I will do to you. You will see. Get out of my sight! Get, 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 get out. You come and be giving me coconut. In fact, you two, get out of my sight! You, you, if all of you should just live here. Look at, look at a handsome man that you found. Okay? This girl wants to take your man away from you. Congratulations, madam. You are three weeks pregnant. Adeline. What, what are you doing here? She is here to give you the results of your good moment with her. Good moment? I don't understand. Here it is. This is a pregnancy test result. Exactly. Which she said you are responsible for. Oh, no, no, no. This is not happening. There's no way you're pregnant for me and you know it. I gave you contraceptives that day. I didn't take it. But I saw you take the pill. I only showed you what you wanted to see. I didn't swallow it. I, I couldn't. I was, I was so scared. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get it straight. You were scared to take contraceptives. But you're not scared of getting pregnant. <sighs> I see the pathetic game that you're trying to play. Rest assured, it's not going to work. I am not taking responsibility for that mistake inside of you. The earlier you get into your sick head, the better it is for you. Get an abortion. What? Oh yes, mom, she has to get an abortion. Abortion? Pascal. Huh. Do you realize your parents are here? Sorry, Dad. Let me make one thing clear. Nobody is doing any abortion. Nobody. I forbid you from uttering such abominable words in my house. Every action has a consequence. And you have to take responsibility for your actions. Dad, you do not understand. This girl is my girlfriend's sister. She led me into her bed, and now she's trying to see how she can put the whole bleed. Lured you into her bed? As what? As a child? Huh. To the best of my knowledge, both of you consented to this act. If you had thought of her sister, you wouldn't have consented to Sleeping with her without protection. Gosh. My daughter. Calm down. All right? We're going to find a way to resolve this matter. Madam, you went out since morning. Where are you coming from? Since morning, where are you coming from? I went to the hospital, and after that, I went to see Chief Jerkins and his wife. 
you went to see the Jenkins. For what exactly? What did you go to see Chief Jenkins' family for? Hey! Hey! This, 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 this is a pregnancy, pregnancy test. Jesus. Are you, who is pregnant? Pregnant. For who? For Pascal. Hey! Hey! hey. My tired is tired, oh. Hey! No, that no, 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 it's never going to happen. There is no way I'm going to get married to that girl. No way, Pascal. I am not seeking your opinion, I am telling you that you will marry that girl. No son of mine will get a woman pregnant and abandon her. You will marry her. Is that what you want? You want me to live with a woman I do not have an eye out of affection for? For goodness sake, I just recently connected with the love of my life. And now you, you, you want me to separate from her again? You separated yourself when you acted with your manhood instead of thinking with your head. And by the way, who says you must end up with that first love of yours? Listen, destiny has a way of reshaping our lives, all right? Take responsibility for your action. No, I wouldn't. Okay, fine. What if the child is not mine? Have you even thought about that? First of all, you will take her as your lawful wedded wife. You will live with her. You will look after her until the baby is born and will do a DNA test. If it's negative, she will leave your house. But if the child turns out to be yours, she will remain your lawful wedded wife until death do you part. No, Dad, no! I will not do that! There is no way I am going to compromise my life and my happiness all for that miserable girl! And I'm not going to compromise my political career by reason of your stubbornness. All right, what if I refuse? What if you refuse? You will lose a great portion of your inheritance. If by reason of your intransigence, I lose my ambition. That. How will you conform to your parents' wish just like that? After everything, Pascal, you agreed to marry Adeline. Stella, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? It's not like it's what I want. I'm also confused here. But if I don't get married to Adeline, my father will... Oh, please, tell me that, Pascal. My father this, my father that. Are you not a man? I mean, baby... You're probably to be able to understand that you're old enough to make your own decisions and stick to it. Listen, Stella. You still remain the kind-hearted girl that I fell in love with years ago. You occupy my heart. I just need some time to sort things out. Look, consider my marriage to Adlin like, like a contract that has an expiry date. Once my father's electoral campaign is done, I am getting a divorce. I assure you that. Listen. 
I promised you that I was going to be with you forever. And I will stop at nothing to make sure that happens. I just need you to be strong for me. My heart belongs to only one person and that person is you. Please. Please. to me life without you will be void and empty and that is because you complete me you make my life have meaning I love you Honey, you kept me all alone throughout the night. You stayed awake because you wanted to. You weren't even picking calls. I never saw the need to. Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Why am I? doing this to you. Are you going to act like, uh, are you going, uh, do you want us to have this, this conversation again like you don't know the, the answers to your stupid questions? If not for anything, for the sake of your unborn child. Read my lips, woman. Not now. Not ever would you experience such with me. If you had thought about this, you would never have sneaked your way into my bedroom months ago. Do you listen? I hate you. Look, I, I hate the air that you breathe. I hate the floor that you walk on. I hate everything that has to do with you. I totally detest you. Oh, you better get out of my sight, woman.
Mom, how long do I have to wait? Till eternity. Is it until that bitch sucked my man dry? But it was all your fault. I blame you for everything. See, you have to look for a way to take back your position. But I am trying. I'm trying. Mm. If not for his father's resistance, the whole divorce process would have been over by now. You need to try harder. Oh. You need to try harder. Pascal is not a boy. Eh? <laughs> he cannot, I mean, always be subjected to his father's wish like a boy. He's a man. Eh? And it is up to you to set his priorities straight. That's it, I'm trying to condition myself to mommy. But all my efforts just seem fruitless. Eh? Sometimes I just keep thinking. If Pascal says he loves me this much, then why is it so difficult to get rid of that bitch? Well, maybe... Maybe we should give him some time. Hmm? Let's just wait and see. If things don't work out as expected, eh? Then we can look for something else to do, okay? Something that will make you take back your position. No, I like the sound of that. Oh. That is my mother talking. Just... <laughs> because I mean, there is no better place to be than in the empire of Chief Jenkins. Yes, and that is <laughs> the best place to be. Yes. Listen, Mom. I have already accepted to take full responsibilities, absolute responsibilities of the child, but not her. I am not in love with that woman in my house. And yet, you got her pregnant. Mom, it was a mistake. Do you really want us to talk about that part again? There is no such thing as a mistake. Our family is known for good. <sighs> and reputable personalities. I do not love her. Come say something, because I'm, I'm actually losing my mind. You don't expect me to spend the rest of my life with a total stranger in my house. Have you forgotten we had an agreement months back that she must have that child to know its true paternity? Mom, she's choking me. I don't think I can endure anymore. I have no interest in going against the father's true word. You know what our family stands for. Either that child is mine or not. Once she gives birth, I am getting a divorce. Because there is no way that I am going to force myself to become an embodiment of sadness. No way. This marriage in the first place was a deed that I was, I, 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 I was forced into, ignorantly conformed into. So I'm going to do everything possible to correct that mistake and no one is going to stop me.
Are you not going to pick that call? It's not important. I don't think so. For someone to be calling you this much, I think it's very, very important. Pick the call. I just said the call is not important. Hmm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for interfering. I'm sorry. Get out of my way! Don't you dare touch me! Hmm? When I grow up, I'll make you my wife and will make you happy forever. Yes, I want to be your wife forever. 
Then you will call me Papilo. Yes, I like it, Papilo. Honey, are you not going to take your breakfast? Since when did I start eating what you prepared? Well, I, I felt you'd like to eat something before we leave. Well, thank you, madam. I'm not interested. You can eat it yourself. Papilo. What did you just call me? What name did you just call me? <laughs> Don't you dare call me that name again. It's a name unfit to be voiced by a worthless mouth. The only person I ever told that name was your sister years ago. I'm sure she told you about it. Now, Don't you think that you can manipulate your way into my life by mentioning it? Don't you dare call me that name again. Nonsense. Abu? Yes, sir. Open the gate. Laugh. If you laugh inside the phone now, he will hear your voice. <laughs> hey, like that. Oh, you mean for my coco? It's calling me. Okay. Hello, hello, Pascal. Where are you? Where are you? My daughter, oh, my daughter is almost dying. <laughs> yes, she, she, she's done committed suicide. Only hope. Yeah, she, yeah, she took something. I don't know. She has consumed a lot of it, oh. <laughs> come quick, come quick. <laughs> Can you hear? Yes, quick, quick, quick. Please hurry up, hurry up. Please, just calm down. I'll be there right away. Stella, what have you done to yourself? What is this? Oh my goodness. Yes, he's coming. So let's go downstairs, eh? Let's go and prepare. You remove this wig what and everything. It? You have eyelashes. Any yeah. eyelashes on your eye? Oh. Oh. Go downstairs, eh? So we'll go and act like you are suffering. You lie down. Yeah? Let's go. I look sick. You go and look sick now, eh? Looks like he's almost here. So let's continue. 
put your head here like this. It's true, Rishi. The world will just lie down. Wait! Oh, I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm coming! Who is there? I'm coming! Oh, I'm coming! Coming! Don't Sign these papers. What is it? Are you blind? They are divorce papers. Sign them. I'm sorry, I can't. Adeline, God knows I am already losing it with you. Do not make me do something that I would regret. Sign these papers and everything is done. Honey. Adeline, don't make me lose it with you. It will be in your best interest to do exactly what I want. If not for you, your sister will not be in the hospital fighting for her life. Why? My sister? What happened? You should ask yourself that question. Hey, sign these papers. Do not tempt me, woman. Sign them before I return. Stella. From my lab results and investigations, I couldn't find anything wrong with her. There is no poisonous substance in her bloodstream. Ah, doctor, but I, I was there when she took the poisonous substance now. The lab results is saying otherwise. <laughs> I don't press anything in my bloodstream. It'll be fine, it'll be fine. Doctor, give her something for the pain now. Eh? I'm so sorry about that. Everything will be fine. She's already getting some intravenous leaves. She'll be fine. Doctor, after one hour, if this pain doesn't stop, we'll go to another hospital. No, I can't take it again. No. She'll be fine, ma. Just calm down. She'll be fine. Don't sorry. Sorry. Eh? Sorry. 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 
Yes, ma. Open the gate. Okay. Ma. So, are you done with the farm? Hello, nurses. Hi. Hello, ma. Hi. Uh, I'm here to see a patient that was admitted a few hours ago. Um, we have so many patients admitted here today, so who right, right. are you talking about? Her name is Stella. I'm sure she probably came with the name Mr. Pascal or a Rose. Maybe. Oh, the suicide patient. I'm sorry, suicide? Yeah, I heard she made an attempt to commit suicide, but don't worry, she's what? stable now. How can I see her, please? Um, the second floor by the left, um, ward number four. Upstairs, Yeah, by the left. Yeah, thank you. Do you have to... What's wrong with this person? Adeline. I mean, I heard what happened. I'm so sorry. Uh, what exactly did you hear? Um, my husband said Stella was admitted here. He didn't exactly give her uh, uh, Spell the details, please. Uh, I mean, you know your condition. <laughs> well then, Stella, I hope you feel better soon. Uh, of course she will. Yeah. Mm. She'll be fine, don't worry. Sorry. Extend my concern to the family. I'm sorry to hear that. No, no, no. Look. I will keep antagonizing you as long as it goes against certain basic tenets of morality. Her sister attempting to commit suicide is pure emotional blackmail. All right? Can't you see that, son? Use your head for once. I didn't raise a neat wit as a child. The earlier you stop being unnecessarily apologetic and, 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 and vulnerable about this, the better for you. Okay? Can you imagine? You better call your son and talk to him. What nonsense is this? Honey, you know, he's just a child. He will change. He's a full-grown man. He will change. But remember, he has your blood running in his vein. Hmm? Have you forgotten? I will not go into any argumentation with you right now. Just call him and talk to him. I will. I will. This is so. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, I bet, see you. Oh, yeah. it's like. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> Mm. What about the other one? Keep no, I'm scrolling. Okay, now. I can scroll. Yes, no. Ah, see you. <laughs> I was with you the other day about it. Uh, it's just. Ha. Ah. Mm. <laughs> I mean, let me quickly go make something for you and start to eat. No, no, no. Sit down, sit down, please. Uh, sit down. I have already made an order for her. Don't worry. Are you showing me? How can I be here and the both of you eat outside? Don't worry. It'll be fast. In your condition. Please, I hope your husband will be okay with it. I am pregnant, not sick. Besides, my husband understands. I'm growing stronger every day. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mommy, let me let me show you another one. Okay, no problem. That's rubbish. Unless you're busy yeah. rubbing the stomach. How's all that? Thank you. First person to be pregnant. That's it.
can really imagine the audacity. Her guts. <sighs> she actually came here to see me when she knows that she's the reason I'm doing all of this. Not mind her. Who oh, mind her now? Her days in Pascal's house are over. <laughs> Just imagine a woman, eh? Coming here is the height of it all. By the time we're done with her, she will not know what's in it. Worry. Picking this suicide attempt is like the best decision I've ever made. Mm -hmm. Best I've ever made. Like, I have never seen Pascal conform to reality the way he's currently triggered. <laughs> Look, emotional blackmail. That is the best armor to use for a man who is who is just totally emotional about everything. Honestly. Ah! You got it right. By the time we're done, eh? <laughs> he will not know what he done. You will become Mrs. Pascal Jackie. <laughs> you can't see that again, mommy. Oh my goodness. I heard everything. Mom. Is that how desperate, so eager you are to destroy me? Is that the, the intensity of the hate? I, I thought we were family, right? Come, oh, how dare you eavesdrop on us? Eh? Oh, okay. You heard everything. Uh -huh. And so, so what? <laughs> you, 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 you. I mean, this would not have come this far if only you had listened, you had conformed. When I asked you to pick your things up and, and leave, you poor, wretched, homeless, dirty girl that I picked up from the gutter. Huh? Oh, you think you can destroy the love of my daughter's life? No. I will not let you. This time we will fix everything. Mom. Who is your mother? Don't call me your mother. I am not your mother. Do you understand? I am not your mother. I picked you up as an orphan and I gave a life. And this is how you choose to repay me? Repay the only fingers that fed you? Nonsense. Mrs. Yeah. Adeline. What are you doing here? Be careful now, your waist that stopped you. What's going on here? What was Adeline doing here? To insult me and my mother. Ah! Oh, I have never been insulted and ashamed. The way she did both of us. Mm -hmm. It is the thing she said to me. I... Mama. Who gave her the guts? I'm just there. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just blame, blame Hamid Beach on me, okay? I assure you that she'd never get the chance to do it again. Mama, I'm sorry about this. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay.
Hi, why are you looking sad? I'm coming. Here, yeah, take some water to make you feel happy. Thank you. Can I sit? Where is she? I like it. It's sweet. And I'll buy another one tomorrow. Can we be friends? Yes, I'm to be your friend too. We're friends now. I'm to be your friend forever. And me too. Can you... Please come tomorrow, okay? Okay. When I grow up, I'll make you my wife. I will be happy forever. Yes, I want to be your wife too. Then, you're gonna have to call me Papilo. Yes, Papilo, I love it. But don't tell anybody about it, especially. Okay, promise, pink is Actually, what's your name? My name is... Kafka! What are you doing there? You made me ruin my vow to always stay looking for you. Oh yeah, let's go. you visit the hospital and insult Stella and her mother. How would you, how would you even believe that? Shut the trap! You're so full of shit! How dare you!
What happened to the, the child who been fallen since we shared? That the hammer in the law. Hey, I want you to stop me saying that. I'm not doing it. Everything will be all right. The wife will be okay. She'll be fine. Are all right? You, are you sure she'll be okay? She'll be okay. She'll be fine. Have fit. All right? The wife will be okay. You can as well go home and change. You have blood stain all over your shirt. It's not allowed in the hospital. Okay. okay. Yeah, go home and change. All right? All right. She'll be fine. Just calm down, okay? She'll be fine. She'll be fine. Son, mm. what happened? You sounded so terrified on phone. Mom, I'm in trouble. But it was all a mistake. I, I, I didn't mean, I didn't mean for it to happen. Calm I only just calm down. Calm down and tell us exactly what happened. We were having an argument. And so I, I confronted her. Before I knew it, I don't know what made me I don't, I don't know what made me get angry. I I pushed her. I pushed her, she fell down, and she, she she passed out. Honestly, I didn't mean for it to happen. I rushed her immediately to the hospital. How could you have gotten so physical with her as to warrant taking her to the hospital? Eh? Even if you hated her that much, couldn't you at least have been thoughtful about her condition? See, pray that nothing happens to her. Because even I, your father, will not support any evil. I will not hesitate to hand you over to the police to face the consequences of your actions. Oh, me? What's I warned you many saying? times. Sorry, Dad. Honestly, I didn't mean for it to happen. It was just, I don't know what came over me. Excuse me, nurse. Nurse, nurse. How is she? The doctor will see you very soon. Hey. But, but how, is she, how is she doing? Can, can I go in? So calm down. I didn't mean for it to happen. I don't know. I don't know what came no. over me. Sorry. No, no. She'll be okay. She will be fine. She'll be fine. She has lost a lot of blood before she was rushed down here. The baby is gone. And we have to conduct an operation as soon as possible to take out the retained product of conception. What are her chances of survival? 50-50, sir. 50-50. Can we fly her abroad? <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but um, this hospital is one of the best in this country. We have the best of hands and facilities and all whatnot. Moreover, flying her abroad will lessen her chances of survival at least by 80%. Doctor, this young lady must not die. She's still young, full of life. Yeah. Do everything within your power to save her, please. I, I cannot assure you that, Ma, uh, but I can only tell you that we're doing our best. Um, I don't know who is signing these documents, so we can actually proceed with the operation immediately. Sorry. Thank you. People are watching. Mommy, I'm scared. What if Anthony dies? What if she dies? Besides, she will not die. What if she dies? It is her fate. Hey, yes, ma'am. Besides, to give you a better chance to be with Pascal, the way you have always wanted it. No. That's not what I want. I I needed Anthony to, to watch me take Pascal away from her. I want her out of the way, but not like this. I, I don't want her to die, Mom. You 
If she dies, I will live with the guilt for the rest of my life. See, Stella, if you know you cannot say anything else, just shut up. Keep quiet. I don't want this anymore. I'm scared. I can feel life leaving me. I'm going to live with the trauma for the rest of my life, Mom. I don't want it. It has been four hours, and she has not reacted to any stimuli. I just pray she survives it. My dear, we all pray she survives it. But shouldn't we be asking what prompted to such havoc? Because to the best of my knowledge, that pregnancy was seven months. An accident occurring at such stage calls for concern. Are you serious? Yes, that is what happened. And now he's regretting it. I even heard that his father is threatening to send him to jail if anything goes wrong. Stella. Do you have something to say to me? Do you? What have you done? So you have been deceiving me. You made me believe that you were the love of my life. I'm sorry for making him fall out of every hole. I'm sorry for being selfish and mischievous. <laughs> the attempted suicide wasn't real. It was just the oxford my mother and I to tr trigger the divorce between you and Angeline so I can be your wife. Forgive me. <laughs> Do you know what your actions made me do? Do you realize the pains and torment I made her go through because of you? How could you do this to me? How? I'm... 
mother I have so many things to say to you now but I reserve my comments just pray nothing happened to my son and that lady lying in that bed to live after what I did to her. Oh, no, no, no. But that's not the reason why she come out to the world like this. <laughs> Betrayed. What if a vehicle had crushed you? Come, let's go. Please, please, just, just allow me to die, please. Allow, allow me to die. I, I want to die. I, I want to die. I deserve to die. <laughs> it's all me. It's me. It's me. I'm, 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 I'm guilty. I am guilty. <laughs> I failed my promises. <laughs> Madam, we have to sedate him with an injection. If not, he will not be calm. At this point, he is not in his right state of mind. And he can be hostile to himself or anyone around him. Doctor, do anything necessary to save my son. Do anything, anything to save him. He's my only son, my only son. Save him, doctor. Stop, Stop saying that. Stop. You will not die. You must not die. Okay. Madam, you and your daughter are under arrest uh -uh. for conspiracy, defamation of character, and impersonation of identity. Emotional blackmail. You are under arrest. Please, you have the right to remain silent. Whatever you say or do may be used against you in the court of law. Officer, move them out. You, you can't arrest us. You can't. You... Please, take them out. I am so sorry. I am truly sorry. Please forgive me. I have failed you in all my ramifications. I betrayed you. 
I take full blame for all my actions. But I ask, please, that you don't die. Please, leave and torment me for the rest of my life. Leave and punish me. Leave and, 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 and hurt me for, for everything I did to you. I am not worthy to begin to profess love to you. I just don't want to lose you. I need you to wake up because if anything happens to you, I would not survive it. Please. Please wake up, my dear. Please. Papino. Adeline. Adeline, you're awake. Adeline. Doctor! Thank you. Is there something else you want? Besides this? I'm good. Fresh juice? I'm fine. Are you sure you're good? I'm fine. Yeah. Pastor, she said she is fine. I love her to eat. And you, go ahead and eat your own. Why don't you just let them be? And mind your food. <laughs> well, before I let you eat, there's something very important I'd love to tell you. Adeline. You deserve the very best. So I ask, let's start afresh, you know, a new chapter of our lives. I want us to be able to look back to this day, this very moment, and be glad that this happened. I don't want our marriage to be a mistake. I want our marriage to be real and official. I want to spend the rest of my life atoning for my mistakes. No, I don't want that. I want you to live a fulfilled life with me, not atoning for your mistakes. You showed true affection for my sister when you thought I was the one. You see, that knowledge is overwhelming. From the very first day I met you, I knew you were the one. I knew you were my happy place. You are my own. <laughs> and I will continue to love you every single day of my life with every breath that I take. Thank you 
you so much. Thank <laughs> you.